Hey, what's up again, everybody? This is Alex with Squeaky's Reef. So today I ordered my first batch of online corals. Now, I already have a pretty decent stock in my tank, but that's really just because of the generosity of uh, three local reefers. A couple friends of mine, the guy I bought the tank from, <clears throat> um, were all like super generous and gave me a bunch of corals for basically next to nothing. But I really wanted to start getting a Zoa garden going. So I was shopping around online, looking for recommendations on reef to reef. And I came across cherry corals, who to me had the best um, compromise between like really great designer zoas at really affordable prices. And so I went ahead and I placed my order with them. Now, one thing of note about them is that they don't really have a, a free shipping option. Like maybe they do if you spend enough, but I spent, you know, it was like $280, I think, or $250, and my shipping was still like $35. But I know it's a sliding scale, so the more you spend, the less your shipping cost is. You know, maybe there's some amount where you get free shipping, but, you know, I hadn't achieved it. Um, and the, everything was packed with love. They came in little, like, so I work in the service industry, so we would call them like portion cups little like plastic ramekins to make sure that the corals didn't bump up against the edge of the bags, which was great. Um, there was a little bit of water that had leaked out of one of them into the big bag that they were all inside, but it was no big deal. They all still had plenty and it wasn't, a, wasn't enough to, you know, turn me off. And it came with a little printed out card for like acclimation instructions and dip instructions that most things you get online get sent with. But they also sent me a sticker, which was really cool. And they also sent me a free frag. You know, there was a, a bonus frag in the order that I didn't order with a little smiley face on the bag. And that's awesome. You know, the, the little things go a long way. It only had two polyps on it, but it looks like whoever was bagging my order realized that I was trying to set up a Zoa garden and threw me an extra frag in there. And the colors actually, it was like colors that I needed. So it was really awesome that they did that. Now, obviously I, I'm quarantining all my fish but I just don't have the resources or the space to set up a separate quarantine tank for my corals to keep them in for months with, you know, another light on it and more water parameters to stay on top of. It just, that was the limit of how much I was willing to put into this. But because of that, obviously I dip everything I get with a Coral RX and this was no different. But I will say that this was by far the cleanest coral that I've got so far. I think this is the fourth batch of coral that I've got and dipped. And usually, after the end, on the bottom of the white bucket, you can see all sorts of little critters, flatworms. I've actually seen like little baby aptasias, asterine starfish, all over the bottom of the bucket when I'm done. Especially, I had what, like eight or nine different coral frags in there. But there was nothing on these. It was like they were naked. There was one tiny little starfish. It didn't look like an asterina to me. It was like darker colored than that but that is the only thing that came off all of these plugs that I got. And to me, that is remarkable. So props to Cherry Corals for keeping your system so immaculate. So when I'm dipping, I try to go slightly on the higher end of the recommended dosage of the coral dip, just because I, I feel like it's gotta be hard to overdose and I wanna make sure that you know all of the pests in there are letting go. And I also use this as a time to start acclimating them to the aquarium water. I don't drip any of these corals. I just, I start them in the dip and then slowly I keep adding a cup or two cups of tank water every so often until the water in the bucket is mostly tank water. And by that point, I just assume that they're pretty well acclimated and ready to go. And I've had success this way. All, pretty much every coral I get opens right up as soon as I put it in the tank. I also take this time to visually inspect each coral. I pull them out, I look at the tops, look at the bottoms, and I make sure that there's no visible critters anywhere on there. I scrub everything that I can with a tooth toothbrush. I won't get too close to the polyps, but all of the frag disc, top, bottom, I scrub. And then I have tweezers and a scalpel and other tools that I can use to really get in there if I have to. But most of the pests that I've seen are almost are usually on the plug or right in between where the plug and the coral starts. They like to hide. But and then I swish all the water around with a turkey baster and make sure I blow them off just so there's enough water agitation to knock any critters loose. If I can, I like to have everybody cleaned and in the tank before the lights that come on, just to have some time to acclimate before the lights hit them. And I slide this rack way down to the bottom. But you can see that pretty much as soon as the lights came on, everybody opened right up and looked happy. And these opened up quicker than any corals I'd ever bought from anyone else. I guess his parameters must be pretty close to mine because they took right to it. 
Overall, I was so pleased with my uh, Cherry Quarrels order that I'm thinking about stocking my tank only with them, or primarily with them, just because everything they have was so good. I'm sure I'll still get a couple things here and there from local reefers that I can't find. I really want some uh, anemones that they didn't have a great selection of when I was ordering, but this is a really solid choice if you're looking for somewhere to get corals from, especially if you don't want to give your money to you know a huge corporation like Live Aquarius, sorry, or you know Worldwide Corals even. I, I believe this is just one guy named Todd and uh, he definitely deserves your business, so give him a shot if you're thinking about it. But as usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a couple days with a three-month update. Well, we'll go into every single thing that's happened to this tank and since I started it up.